My name is Jeff Chancellor and welcome to Eccles. Uh, we are a manufacturer of preservatives and cosmetic products for caring for the deceased persons. Uh, we have multiple kinds of products. We have arterial chemicals, we have cavity chemicals, we have uh, pre-injection chemicals, we have disinfectant chemicals. People are what they eat and people are what kind of drugs and uh, medical therapies that they receive. So there's many different causes of death and many different complexions, uh, many different ethnicities. This as an example is a, a very low power or very mild embalming chemical that's designed for people who don't have a lot of uh, conditions that would require strong preservation. It's about 17.5 percent formaldehyde. This is the other end of the spectrum. This is a very powerful product that uh, is 34 percent formaldehyde. So we want to make sure that we match the conditions of the person with the chemicals that we're going to use. You'll notice there's a lot of different colors in our range as well. Those different colors are going to give us a lot of control over achieving the right skin tones and complexion colors so that people look their very best because you feel what you see. The cavity chemicals are designed to preserve the contents of the body cavities. And there's a number of different types of cavity chemicals as well because there's a lot of different medical conditions ranging from ascites or edema uh, in the body or, for example, people may have an obstructed bowel and, and have a lot of fecal matter within them. So we have to have chemicals that can treat each type of condition. Uh, many people in the United States uh, pass away because of cardiac conditions or heart disease, which means the circulatory system may not be in really good condition and we need the circulatory system to be able to deliver chemicals throughout the entire body. So we have a number of different products that can enhance circulation. I see specialty, preserving, tissue builder. Now the tissue builder product is really an interesting product. Many times when people get sick and have chemotherapy, they lose a lot of protein and so they don't resemble themselves, they're so thin. These products can be uh, injected underneath the skin, sort of like a Botox treatment, but to plump up the tissues so that the people look like they did before they got sick. Interesting. And, uh, and so people go to mortuary school to learn how to use all of these different fluids and embalming. Absolutely. Uh, people do need to go to school to learn to use the products, but more importantly than just going to school is uh, ongoing or continuous professional development. With advances in health care, of course, there's got to be advances in death care. And the drugs that have changed in cancer treatment, for example, have changed the chemistry of the body. So uh, we're constantly updating our products so that they're going to be relevant and they're going to work. Also, we export all over the world. and the level of health care, uh, the, the modernness of health care is really variable depending upon where you are in the world. So in some places you know, there's really not a lot of antibiotics or steroids or analgesics, whereas in other places you know, life support in the last few days or weeks of life uh, can be really intense. So we have to be able to uh, create products and, and educate people to use products through many climates, many cultures, and, uh, and med many medical cultures.